So here's what things look like. And again, this is just a continuation of the main function. And, and this is what our picture looked like from the previous after the traversal. Okay. And what we need to do here is we're, we're also going to do a traversal. Now, now since we know we're destructing this list, we're, we don't really care about the integrity of the head pointer anymore because this list is going to go away. We're going to first, again, start by setting temp pointer to node pointer. Now, the order of operations, and a lot of times when you're manipulating linked lists, the order of operations is critically important. And I have to be very careful here because if I deleted, if I deleted node pointer or temp pointer, meaning if I delete the object that they point to, which is 5, then suddenly I have lost my ability to get to node 10 and node 15 or the node containing 10 and 15. So I have to be very careful here. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I am going to actually be deleting node pointer, okay? But before I do that, I need to move temp pointer so that it points to the rest of the list. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to move temp pointer so it points to, the, to what will become effectively the head of the list. Then I can delete node pointer, and then I'm going to make node pointer point to what temp pointer points to. And so those are the three operations. I'm going to move, delete, and then move. Move, delete, and then move. And you'll see that, and, and, and in doing that in a loop, I'll be able to destroy the linked list or destruct the linked list. And, and this code is going to go into the destructor of a linked list class, and uh, we'll see that a little later. So I'm set up here. I, I don't want to execute delete. I'm going to move node, I'm going to move temp pointer so that it points to the next. And I could interchange node pointer and temp pointer, uh, their roles, but I'm just using temp pointer as, uh, as the one that I'm moving. So as long as temp pointer so again, this is a, a traversal, so I'm going to keep doing this until temp pointer points to null. And as long as temp pointer points to something, then I'm going to continue looping. So I'm going to advance temp pointer. Just like that. So now temp pointer is going to point to 10. And notice that when I finish this, I'll be in exactly the same configuration, except I'll be exchanging 10 for 5. Okay. So I've safely stored the address of the rest of the list in temp pointer. Now I can safely delete 5. I say delete node pointer. And when I delete this, I delete the entire node, keeping in mind that the, this node contains the integer 5 as well as this next pointer, which holds the address of 10. So the delete operation gets rid of the node and its pointer. Now, node pointer still holds the address of where that node containing 5 used to be in memory. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make node pointer point again to the new head of the list. And I can do that by saying node pointer is equal to Just like that. That makes node pointer point to 10. Now look what I've done here. This is exactly 
the same configuration I started with. I had both temp pointer and node pointer pointing to the head of the list. So that's the end of my loop. I can just execute this again. Does temp pointer point to something? Yes, it does. I'm going to advance temp pointer to the next node, which is 15. Now I can delete node pointer or delete the node that node pointer points to, which is 10. And in doing so, I get rid of the node and its pointer because the pointer actually is a private data member of the node object. And now I reassign node pointer so that it points to the same thing that temp pointer points to, which is the new head of the list or the head of the rest of the list. So now the diagram is getting a little messy here, so I'll do a little. All right, so now we have this situation. Again, even though my little list has one remaining element, it's still the head of the list, and both temp pointer and node pointer point to it. I go back up to the top of my while loop. Does temp pointer point to something? Yes, it does. Now watch what happens. Temp pointer advances, and now temp pointer is going to point to null. A call on get next pointer is going to return null. Now temp pointer points to null. That is going to satisfy my termination condition for the while loop, but not before I delete node pointer or delete the node that node pointer points to, which is 15. And so now all of this is destructed. And I make node pointer point to what temp pointer points to. And so in effect, what I'm doing now is making no, node pointer point to null. And all this goes away. And I'm at the bottom of my while loop. And I check to see if temp pointer uh, points to something. And it does not. That satisfies my termination condition. and that finishes my main function. When we leave the scope of the main function, because we declared temp pointer and node pointer in that scope, when, we, when main terminates, then that memory is reclaimed. But and that would have happened regardless, but it's up to us. Remember, for every new, there has to be a corresponding delete. So in the first segment, we executed new three times for 5, 10, and 15. And now here, in this destructor code, we executed delete three times. Once for 5, once for 10, and once for 15. And so when this, code, when this program terminates, uh, we will have deallocated all of the memory that we used. Very important. So this code would appear in a clear method. So if you wanted to implement a, a clear method in the public interface, and it would also appear in a destructor. And of course your destructor could call the clear method. And all these methods would do is simply delete all of the elements of a dynamically allocated linked list.